Hello everyone, welcome to Urbanscape Bangalore and in this episode we will be talking about this wonderful succulent trailing plant called the Chinese Dunscap or the Orostachys bomeri, which is a relatively rare succulent grown for its trailing nature and these beautiful blue to grey tinged leaves. They are monocarps which means that they bloom once in their lifetime and then die so because of this they produce these offsets in their pursuit to survive. Typically, the plant will have one mother plant that will give out these offsets along with the stolons and the offsets also in turn produce more offsets just like a blockchain. The Chinese dunce cap is native to the mountainous regions of Japan, China and Mongolia. This is said to be cold hardy, however, please take this indoors in a warm, brightly lit room when the temperature in your area dips really low which is even unbearable for you. It is said to be winter dormant and the plant springs up during the warmer months. They are said to give out yellow flowers once the mother plant grows bigger. The plant will make a wonderful trailing plant in hanging containers. So let me quickly talk about the repotting of this plant. While repotting, just remove the plant carefully without breaking these delicate offsets. Since they have very shallow root systems, I am just using my finger to carefully remove the plant. For the repotting, use preferably a shallow container which is wide enough to house these offsets. I am for now using this container here with holes and as usual, I will be adding some drainage materials at the bottom. Now for the potting mix, I am using a well draining mix of just sand and compost of 50% each. Make a burrow and then add the plant. Now backfill and water the plant. So while backfilling, there was some sand that got into these gaps. So just to remove that, I am using a jet of water. So please don't think that you can do this every time. This is the only time I will be doing this because it is too time consuming to use a brush and remove these soil particles. Watering must always be done like this where you are watering only the soil and not their leaves. So now let us talk about the basic care tips. Sunlight. This is definitely not an indoor succulent or a low light plant but yet again a southwest window in a tropical country like India would be an ideal location for this plant when grown indoors. Now, a lot of people would advise you to keep this under full sun, but as you all know, if you keep this under full sun in a country like India where rains are a normal fixture, you very well know what will happen to the plant. It will rot and die. So there is no hard and fast rule while growing your plants. It all depends on your local climatic conditions and that would define the well-being of your plants, not what I or anyone else says. So in conclusion, give this plant bright indirect light where the sunlight is intense and protect it from rain. And in areas which are rain deficient and do not have very harsh summers, then full sun is advisable. Watering So please follow the minimal water routine for succulents since they store water and more water will only mean faster deterioration of the plant. So water this only when you see the soil drying. During winters, reducing watering is advisable. Please don't water the leaves of the plant. Fertilizing. I would not be fertilizing this plant so much because succulents are known to do well in poor soil. So a layer of compost as mulch every four months will be enough. Propagation. You can propagate it with the help of these offsets. You can just bury the plant like this so that the offsets still get all the good stuff from its mother and grows roots quickly. Or remove the offset altogether and grow it in another well-draining container. A detailed propagation video will be coming up at a later date. Pests are highly uncommon on succulents and this plant is no different if grown outdoors. However, indoor succulents could be susceptible to mealy bugs. So I'm not saying that this is the only thing you guys have to follow to grow this plant as I believe experience is your best teacher and the more I spend time with this plant, the more I would know about this plant and its care. So keep watching the community page for updates on this plant if any. But otherwise, these are the general care tips. Follow them and enjoy your first ever Rosette shaped 
trailing succulent. So with this, we have come to the end of yet another episode of Urbanscape Bangalore. Please do follow me on Instagram and Facebook. The links will be given below. Thank you for watching and until we meet again, a very warm goodbye.